what? There's a... Oh my God, it's someone. Oh my God, someone's walking through it. I thought, oh my God, I looked and I looked back and there was a figure and I thought we were about to die. We still might be. No, it's someone's walking because we're in board shorts. Um, definitely not a ghost. Uh, <laughs> the ghost of Australian past. <laughs> it's just a mullet. Yeah, good day, mate. Good day, mate. Today we are heading off to the Bristow Lavender Farm, uh, but to break up the trip we decided to make our first stop here at the Lilydale Falls. It is only a 20 minute drive from Launceston. We have just seen the first waterfall, so now we're going to see the second waterfall and we're also on the hunt for any more wildlife that we can find, so let's go. for the natural rainforest here in Tasmania. Very beautiful. So we've just found out that in the creek on the way to these falls, you can see a platypus. Now this is something I've been excited about the whole time about coming to Tasmania because they're super rare on the mainland but apparently here there's like so many so I'm determined to see one. As you know I'm always on a hunt for animals and today the hunt is for a platypus and he could just be right down there. So we haven't had we haven't had any luck finding the platypus unfortunately it says on all the google reviews that there is a resident platypus here and you can if you're lucky you can see one here at lilydale falls but we haven't been too lucky today i feel like this is the world's worst national geographic documentary we just go around and say here you can find the tasmanian platypus and then just show you nothing <laughs> just show you no footage of it but it is definitely here so if you come in here, be sure to look in the creek and you might be a bit luckier than us. Okay, let's go. The first thing you have to do at the lavender farm is to get yourself some ice cream. Some lavender ice cream that's melting. Yum. That's, lo that's lovely. Kind of tastes like vanilla, but with a little hint of soap. So although the ice cream is very delicious, I am eating it in a field full of bees. Which <laughs> seems like a little bit risky, but they seem to all be hard at work. So I think they're gonna leave me alone. If you're scared of bees, this isn't the place to come. You can hear just that subtle buzz of them all doing their job. But I suppose without the bees, there'd be no lavender here at all, so. We have to be thankful for the bees. So I went into the gift store before we came onto the lavender farm and I had to get the bear. It's the bear. So there is, I think it's like bow bear or something. This one's just called blossom bear, but there is an original bear that is filled with lavender and got very, very popular in Asia. A lot of people were buying them and you know taking them back because they were just so obsessed with this bear. So I just thought that was like you know it's something that's 40 minutes away from you know my house and my hometown and that this little bear is so popular and famous. I just find that to be really really cool. So of course I had to buy a 
version of the bear. The original bear that you can buy is $70, which is, for me, is just a little bit too expensive, but this one's $17, which is a bit more in my price range. So, had to buy the bear. So, if you're not interested in getting a stuffed teddy, which I'm sure that's not everybody's cup of tea, you can get so many other things at the, it's just a lavender shop. It's just a shop that's here. You can get so many different things. Like I got a lavender soap. You can get lavender teas, um, diffusers, oils, like kitchenware. You can get so many things there, all with lavender in it. So if you are a fan of lavender, you will have a really great time in that shop. The flowers bloom between the middle of December and the middle of February. So if you do want to see the flowers, you are going to have to come in that time. Otherwise, you could come and see just a bare field. So it is the end of December right now. And as you can see, the colors are just popping. So beautiful time of the year to come. So this is definitely a place you want to bring your camera and all your, all your, your best photography gear. Throughout the fields it is just a sea full of people taking photos, but it's understandable. It is so beautiful. You come here for the photos. So that's why we're here. <laughs> So if you are an Instagram boyfriend like me, be prepared for a full day's work because all of the guys here are on shift right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're working unpaid. They're working. So we're all done at the lavender farm. We've hopped back in the car on the way back to Launceston and we've got one more stop on the way back. We're gonna go and check out an abandoned train track tunnel. <laughs> So we have made it to the abandoned train tunnel. So we're just here by ourselves. It's in the middle of just a country town. Um, it's really creepy, but like, I love it. I like, I really like that. I like that it's just. What? There's a, oh my God, it's someone. Oh my God, someone's walking through it. I thought, oh my God, I looked and I looked back and there's a figure and I thought we were about to die. We still might be. No, it's someone's walking because we're in board shorts. Um, definitely not a ghost. Uh, <laughs> the ghost of Australian past. <laughs> it's just a mullet. You can just hear yeah, good eye, mate. Good eye, mate. For a moment there, I just saw a shadowy figure in the tunnel and I thought for sure that it was time to turn around and go back to the car. But you never know. There could still be ghosts. Let's have a look. Um, I'm really glad I decided to wear my my blunnies today because we've been in the dirt and the Bridstow and now we're in water for the tunnel. So I've made a good uh, shoe choice today. Also, Tom has it. I feel like this is the beginning of a horror movie. It could be. <laughs> God. There's just the noises of all the flies and just like you can't see in the tunnel and it's all wet. This is the start of a horror movie. It really is. This is definitely one of those do not try this at home situations. Uh, I'm sure there are snakes in here. <laughs> and I'm done. I'm definitely done. This is, this is so scary. I do recommend it. It's fun. But I am so scared right now. It's just really creepy. It's just one of those vibes where it's like you can see the light at the end and at any moment a shadow figure you just pop out. I feel like I'm on an episode of like ghost adventurers right now. <laughs> hey, demons, it's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy. We made it out. We survived the tunnel. We didn't see any ghosts, but if you need a horror movie location, this is it. But we're gonna get in the car and head back to Launceston now. In a couple of days, we're heading down to Hobart to start our Tasmanian road trip. So that'll be super exciting. So make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.